The teens, the youths. Is there anything they can't do these days? If it isn't fighting for safer schools or starring in major television shows. This age bracket is finding super creative ways to change the world. Today we're tapping into their resourcefulness and trying a little challenge that the youths created. It's Ladylike and today we're trying the Instagram Craft Store Challenge. <laughs> So today we're gonna go to a craft store up in Studio City and sneak in and try to take the most bomb pictures. Because what has gone super viral recently is teens are creeping in to stores like Michael's or Joann's and taking beautiful pictures with their cell phones and posting it on Instagram. They look like professional pictures. You know, as a teen, I was just at the mall. I was just at the mall trying to get shows. I budgeted. 30 minutes for us to be in this craft store. Oh my God, we only have 30 minutes to do it? We're gonna try not to get kicked out of the craft store, but also take awesome photos on a time crunch. So, there are a lot of factors here. I can only get good photos or not get kicked out. I cannot do both. But we have the beautiful Rachel here who's gonna give us some makeup looks because if we're gonna be filming in a craft store where we might get kicked out, if we're not gonna have like professional cameras, I wanna make sure that we at least have our makeup ready to go. The idea of taking photos in a craft store is very, ah, my inner teen is really worried that I'm gonna get in trouble. I mean, listen, I think you can do a lot with a little and I'm excited to explore that today. <laughs> Honestly, just the producer in me is worried we're gonna get kicked out. So, um, we'll see. Let's do this. You guys ready to go to a, a craft store in the valley? <laughs> Let's go to the craft store in the valley. Let's go to the valley. To a craft store. So we'll we'll go in, we'll talk really loudly about like glue and popsicle sticks. Yeah. And really throw them off the scent. Yeah. We'll be like, I have a dollhouse I'm building. Ah! <laughs> gotta go figure this out. Gotta figure out my dollhouse. I've never been on a secret mission before. Yeah, we gotta be covert about it. What if we get arrested? <laughs> or who's posting bail? Jen? Oh God. I really hope that this craft store isn't crowded today. I hope it is, because that way we have more cover. Like don't rob a oh, casino true. when it's empty. You rob it on fight night. Kristen was very nervous the entire time. Have you stand over there? I'm gonna do nothing. Sounds good. <laughs> I was so freaked out. I kept being like, someone's gonna catch us, they're gonna get mad. I don't know if I should like go up high. Wait, oh wait. Hey guys, go. Sorry, now we're in the way. No, 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 we're shopping for wedding stuff. Trying to. You're not doing a video or something? We're just taking a picture for the wedding stuff, yeah. Oh, go, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. It was really funny because we started, we walked into the craft store and found the fake flower section. And then a customer came up and asked us a question, just basically like, hey, can I can I sneak by you? And it freaked us all out. We were like, oh shoot. There's a woman who decided to go right into the aisle that we were doing our photo shoot in to browse. How dare her? I went off on my own because I thought like if we split up, we're more likely to get the mission done. We lost her. Okay, so I split up from everyone else so that I could try to find my own places because there are a lot of people here. That's honestly all the conflict we got. So sorry to ramp up your expectations as if like we're gonna get kicked out. We didn't get kicked out. You know, we're good girls, okay? I think we got some stuff. That was a really stressful shoot. That was probably the most stressful shoot I've done at BuzzFeed. 15 minutes in and out. That was stressful. <laughs> I was stressed. We would not have gotten arrested. But there's Which a first is worst time case for everything. I don't think I felt any threat of any type of arrest or getting in any kind of trouble. No one gave a shit. I love that we were pretending in front of just another customer. Just a customer. It wasn't in front of an employee. I know, and that's the other thing. I was just like, why are we pretending so <laughs> hard in front of this customer? This customer doesn't give a shit. That was some of the worst wedding decoration shopping pretending I've ever seen. What are you talking about? I it thought was, those grapes were great. Devin picks up these grapes and, and are like, these grapes would be a great centerpiece. I was like, yeah, these grapes would be a great centerpiece, said the woman under 50. <laughs> Whatever, I stand by it. All right, so I'm gonna look at my pick. Oh my God. I look like Mother Earth is just giving birth to me. This is a full on perfume ad. I love this photo. I think you look great in this photo. You know, it looks like I'm, I'm modeling for a perfume called Flower Pussy. <laughs> 
I don't know if that's where I went. I think I went somewhere wholesome. Oh, okay. I look like a beautiful garden nymph. Okay, Fred, this is insane. She looks like a princess. She looks like legit royalty. There looks like there's legit sunlight peeking from the corner, which is impressive because we were definitely under fluorescence. <laughs> Look how cute it is. Actually, this is really cute. This is really sweet. Kristen, she looks like a beautiful flower baby. I think you can definitely tell I'm in a craft store. <laughs> we found this hat. I don't know where it came from. It's just a hat. Kristen. You did it, Kristen. I'm really glad we found one because I feel like I saw a lot of them where it was me holding a fake flower and being like. Most of the faces that Kristen made were very stressful. This photo, however, we caught a good one. Kristen, we got one. <laughs> I thought I was doing like a subtle seductive face, but really I was making like, holy shit, are we done taking these photos? Who knew that you could just plant yourself in front of plastic flowers, you know, tilt your chin up a bit and get a good pick. You don't need a whole production team to produce a beautiful photo. You just need your beautiful face and a craft store down the street. Craft store Instagram photo challenge. Lady tested. Lady, going on the gram. Honestly, I feel like if you'd given me 15 more minutes, I would have given you at least five more sourpuss looking faces. Well, we missed out.